Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Journey's End. Oh yeah, just out here stretching my legs, enjoying the beautiful great outdoors inside of this safe little box. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, I finally got that solar eclipse that I wanted so bad. And that's mainly the reason why I'm inside of this box. I'm not hiding. I promise I'm not hiding from the death. As you can see, everything is perfectly fine and entirely under control and there is no danger anywhere near me at all whatsoever. Right, Skeletron Jr.? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're good. We're totally good. I'm definitely not going to get murdered by that the second that I unpause the game. But yeah, yeah, I just, it, the, the solar eclipse literally just happened a little while ago. It's just now, like, about, uh, ah, 804. Yeah, everything's going really well. Going really, really well. So, uh, the plan right now is we're gonna run out of here very, very fast, as quickly as possible, so as to not get murdered by all of these terrifying things flying around me. So I'm just gonna very calmly take off auto-pause, and then run for my life. Go ship, go. Run away. Okay, this is what we're after right here. We gotta get those broken hero swords. That's what we're trying to do. It looks like the ship's working really well against this particular enemy right here. Very good. Just another day, taking another boss for a ride with my slow backstroke. Ah, there's a building there. And the die trader is dead. I imagine a lot of my NPCs are not going to survive this. Can I reach it with a yo-yo? Yes, I can. This does a lot more damage. Don't stop. Come on, keep going. Don't lose steam now. Come on, I believe in you. I, you got this. I have full faith in you, Mothron. Wasn't Mothron a good guy? I'm not really up and up on my Godzilla stories, but I'm pretty sure- I thought Mothra was a good girl. Good girl? Guy? Girl? Thought it was a hero. Or like a- like a sidekick. Maybe I'm thinking of the new Godzilla. I don't know, but it's dead. There we go, there's one. Did I get a fallen hero sword? Broken hero sword? No. I did get 20-some gold, though. That's pretty fantastic. Now I need to get some more of those. I need to get at least, what is it, two of them? Two, three? And then I can finally get the Terra Blade and I'll have a- relatively viable melee weapon to use against Plantera because I'm pretty sure Yo-Yo might be all right if I get a Yellitz. I don't think the Shadow Flame Knife is going to be any good. I could try the Light Disc in place of the Flying Knife. I don't know if that'll be any better. Everything's going real well. There's another one. Keep it going. Keep the party going. Don't slow down. Keep the party going. We're going to fly this way now. Slow down just a little bit. Working as intended, going according to plan. I am waiting for the nerf. I'm telling you. Right now. Using this in a lot of videos is a mistake because eventually Relogic is going to see somebody doing this. Might be me, might not be me, but this thing is going to get nerfed into the ground. It's going to have like a, a 1 in 10,000 drop chance or it's going to like only drop after Gollum or it's going to get nerfed some way, somehow. The fun police are going to come and knock in and they're going to kick the door down and they're going to steal your black spot. Did I get one? There's one. Okay, very good. Very, very good. I'm just going to entirely ignore the enemies on the ground and fly in circles waiting for Mothrons. I might as well kill a couple of them just to get the bestiary filled out. There's an Eyesore. Kill one of those. Maybe I'll get the little springy eyeball pet. Don't shoot a laser at me, please. Please don't do that. Also, don't kill the tax collector again. You did one. Now do the other one. The possessed. The Frankenstein down there. Just got to kill a few. I just need a few samples. Actually, I'm pretty sure I need to kill creatures of the deep, too. There is an item that they drop. I know that. And the tax collector is dead. His name was Tweed. I'm pretty sure pretty sure he wasn't a good guy. I don't know. I know that's a reference to some character from some book somewhere, but that's great. Maybe I can get the scythe from the Reaper. There's a couple of things that I need from this, actually, aside from the broken hero swords. I just thought of that. There's a couple of decent weapons and good items that I can get. Pretty sure the Terra Blade will kick the crap out of any of them. Well, there's a Death Sickle. That's pretty lucky. Go, go, Death Sickle. There we go. That's good. Really, really effective. Just whenever they, whatever you do, don't come jumping through that door. Or shoot lasers at me from a distance. That's also the incorrect thing to do. I'm going to go over here. As ridiculous as that might seem, I'm going to go over here where all my torches are so I have some good torch luck. If you guys are unable to reach me, I am entirely safe. You know, until a vampire shows up and one-shots me. That's what they like to do. Ah, there it is. Vampire. No, 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 no. No, you stay on the ground. No, don't do that. No, I said no vampires. I don't want vampires. Come on. I don't want your bat wing. 
Nobody wants your bat wings. Take that. Ha. Have that knockback. Ha. Ha. No, don't flank me. That's not fair. Using battle tactics against me is not fair. I better heal. I can't even see them in the dark. I'm waiting for another one to come flying off screen and kill me anyway. Go away. Go away. No, 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 no. I didn't say follow me closely. I said go away. What, what, in what language do I have to speak for you to understand what I mean by go away? Oh, good. Mothron's here. Actually, that is what I wanted. Confused. No, don't sit on top of me. Ow, that, it, oh my god, that is a lot of damage. 41 gold. Okay, we're running out of time here. We don't have, we don't have the 15 seconds to spare. And the merchant is dead. Yep, please just kill all my NPCs. Yep, there goes Zack. And there was a Mothrin waiting to see me right, at, right as soon as I got back. Don't lay eggs. Come on, you don't have time for that. What are you doing? No, 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 no. You just, you just stay at a reasonable distance away from me. And at, 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 the yo-yo is the line. You don't cross the line. He, okay, slow down. There we go. No, no, you can aggressively flap your wings at me, but that doesn't make you any better. There we go. We got it locked. Subtle backstroke. Okay, yo-yo, go yo-yo. Doing a lot more damage, I think. I believe. There we go. Yep, there it is. Good, good, good. Everything's going real well. Going good. If it wasn't for the Mothrons, I could probably auto-farm this. Not auto-farm, but I wouldn't have to fly in circles. Give me another sword. Give me a sword. That's not a sword. A pile of gold is acceptable, but it is not what I want. I have enough gold. I've never said that before in my life in this game. Get away. Get away, vampire. You are only annoying. That is all you are. You're not scary. You're not Dracula. Freaking Bam Stoker wannabe. It's the reject. The Bam Stoker dropout. Get out. Go away. I, can you just... This is hallowed. Doesn't holy stuff do bad stuff to vampires? Shouldn't you burst into flames just touching the ground here? Like, wouldn't it make more sense to just drop my flail down? Oh, good. You're going to interrupt me anyway. I'm trying to farm, if you don't mind. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, 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 no. Just trying to headbutt me. You will not get me. I'm too fast. Too fast, too furious. Oh, good. A wyvern. Felt like joining the party. Now I got to get chased by that thing while I'm trying to pick up whatever sword this might drop. Did it drop a sword? Come on. You guys are... You're not... You're not fair. You guys aren't... You guys aren't playing fair here. Oh, and it's daytime. Oh, boy. I only got the one broken hero sword. All that fighting and all that suffering. Well, not daytime. Did I say daytime? I didn't mean daytime. I meant nighttime. Oh, thank God it's finally nighttime. I don't think I've ever said that before. But yeah, okay. Well, I got a death sickle, which I suppose isn't bad. It's a nice auto swing weapon and shoot out uh, those little purple spinny size. Was this, was this always auto swing? I don't remember. I don't really use it all that much, so I don't remember exactly what it is. But I can make the one sword... I could probably make a true Excalibur, a true Knight's Edge. I know I can do the one. Well, I don't know what it'd be better comparatively. Let's get the true Knight's Edge. I don't think it's auto swing, but that won't matter if I use that Titan Glove, because that will make it auto swing. And it could be pretty useful if it was. That's one of the only weak points about a true Knight's Edge. So what should I do right now? I suppose I could go over to the jungle, because I do need to go mining for Chlorophyte. I gotta get some of that stuff. I gotta check that off my list. And then I have to... It's... Hello, Wyvern out of nowhere. Can I help you? Where did you come from? I'm trying to do something here, do you mind? Anyway, I still have to get some of the Chlorophyte stuff. I already have my arena built for Plantera, thankfully, so hopefully there's a bulb that grew somewhere nearby it. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to use my black spot against it. Just because of the fact that I don't really have all that much room to maneuver around down there. Wait a minute. Wait, dude, I don't need a demon altar to craft this? It has been so long since I've actually made this weapon. Do I just need... Okay, I just need... Whatever. It doesn't matter. How does this work with uh, auto swing? I'm curious. Where is that item at? It's a fire gauntlet. I'll just put it here. Let's see. Yeah, it makes it auto swing. That's pretty cool, I guess. That's relatively effective. I could have cursed flames on fire and it's an auto swing. I have a ranged projectile. I don't know if that penetrates. Does that penetrate? I need a target dummy. Look at me exploring the old stuff in Terraria like it's brand new to me, even though this has been in the game for I don't know how long. Is it auto no, it does not penetrate. Uh, 
That would make it decent against Plantera, but only if her face was uncovered. That is a shame. Does it for a decent amount of damage, though. Oh, well. We'll throw that in the box and we'll hold on to it in the event that we get another Solar Eclipse. I guess for right now, I am going to go over to the underground jungle and start digging around for some Chlorophyte. I don't know if anything new is going to be over there or not. It's probably just going to be the same old grind. So, I think I'll go over there and I'll just go digging for some Chlorophyte. And if I find anything new, I will put it in the video. If not, I guess I'll see you when I've got a big handful of Chlorophyte. All right, I have returned from the jungle, and you really didn't miss much. It's just the same old, same old, always super hospitable jungle that it always is, and always has been, and probably always will be. I got myself a good handful of Chlorophyte. I got at least, I got a good, like, 90, 90 bars, which allows me to make one of the two melee armor sets that I have available to me right now, either Chlorophyte or the Turtle Scale Mail, the Turtle Armor. And I'm sort of at a crossroads right there. I'm not exactly sure what armor set I want to use because I know that Shadow Dodge for the Hallow set is really, really good. Can really avoid a lot of damage that way. I know that the Chlorophyte set has that Leaf Crystal with penetrating bolts that it shoots out. Pretty effective, pretty nice. But then there's also the Turtle Armor, which I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up making just because of the fact that it gives me a massive pile of defense. 15 more armor points over the other sets and survivability for bosses is much much more important than being able to deal damage i'd rather have a really really long fight that i know i can win than a really really short fight which i could potentially lose and have to go flying in circles around the underground jungle trying to figure out where another plantera bulb is i did get the yellets and i also decided that i'm probably gonna end up using the death sickle i was not fortunate enough to get another solar eclipse so, no Terra Blade, not yet, but eventually I will be getting it because of the, uh, the big bad melee weapon that you get at the end of the game, which we all know, the Zenith, Zenith, however it is that you prefer to pronounce it. I'm gonna have to get that at some point, but I think I'm gonna use the Yelets maybe for the first phase, and then the Death Sickle, which I got at the Legendary, probably for the second phase just because of the penetration. I decided to go with a Mechanical Glove, and I'm probably... I don't know. If I'm going to use a yo-yo, I'm definitely going to want the master uh, yo-yo skills from the yo-yo bag. I don't know. There's a lot of things to think about. Maybe I'm over-preparing for this as always. I have no idea. Like I said, I'd rather beat the boss and not have to fly circles around the jungle trying to figure out where the next bulb is. Unfortunately, if I go over here, the next bulb that's the closest to this arena, which is what I'm going to end up using, the old Queen Bee arena, it's the closest one is right here. So I'm going to have to fly all the way up through here and get back to my arena before it murders me. Never mind that X over there. That uh, definitely uh, did not happen at all in any way, shape, or form. Just ignore that. It's a glitch. It's a glitch in the map. I did not get murdered by a boulder trap that I could have easily avoided, but chose not to because why would I do that? That makes sense. So anyway, like I said, I think I'm going to craft the turtle set, and I'm going to use its massive armor that it gives me to defeat Plantera. I already got the turtle shells a long time ago in preparation for this. So there we go. And I'm definitely going to equip that for that sweet, sweet look right there. I can't I can't get rid of that. As cool as the uh, turtle armor is, hollow armor's got a leg up on it. So I've got 90 defense right now with all these accessories and what ones I have boosted up to warding. And then I'm going to have potions as well, which is going to boost it even further. I think I'll be all right. I'm not sure what the damage values are going to be like for Plantera and Master Mode, but you know what? We're going to give it a shot. And I think I might actually be able to defeat her. Hopefully. I'm going to go on some serious underground jungle weed eating. Vicious weed eating. That went out... That went so well the last time that I tried that. But I believe in myself. What say you, Walter? Lovely morning. Indeed. It's always a lovely morning to murder plant monsters. So, since I've got all my potions already ready to go, i got a flask... Got my weapons all ready to go, armor's taken care of. I think I'm gonna go for it. So I'm gonna head over to the jungle and I'm gonna see how this goes. Wish me luck. I'll see you then. All right, so here we go, the bulb. I don't wanna waste too much time. I got myself a nice little enclosed space. Hopefully too many enemies don't show up. That's why I don't wanna waste too much time. I forgot to mention I did get my health all maxed out. Hello, enemy that I would have really rather not spawned. That's great. Take some health away from me. That's fine. I love that. This is what I wanted to avoid. Oh, well. Okay. So anyway, let's break the bulb and let's fly out there as quickly as possible. Maybe I can beat her. Come on. Oh, God. She's right below me. All right. Let's buff up before things get bad. 
I don't want to die that quickly. Okay. Let's go. Bring it on, Plantera. Come on. Okay, so nine damage. All right, Death Sickle, go on. Not a whole pile of damage, and she can't really hit me with any uh, poison because of the Ankh Shield. Not really able to affect me by that, so hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. She's got limited mobility because I barely got any background walls. That's a little bit of a, a tip. If you didn't know, she can grapple onto background walls as well as solid blocks. Kind of makes things a little inconvenient. So far, so good. There's the thorn balls, the bouncy projectiles. I think I demonstrated with the queen slime. Not very good at dealing with those as I run right into her face. That is not bouncing in any way, shape, or form. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. So you just got to keep those balls down there. Keep your balls to yourself. I'm not interested in any of that. Here we go. She's going to go into her second phase soon, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember when. She's got a lot of health. I don't even know why I'd be surprised by that anymore. That, that's, that's not even a shocker anymore. That's all every boss is. That's why defense is important. It's an endurance fight. Oh my god, okay. So she's going very fast now. We need this. Go Death Sickle. Take care of all them little things down there. Hopefully it's not a problem. Don't sit right on her face there. That's a terrible idea. Heal. I'm trying not to dodge because that's going to be the death of me if I end up getting knocked around too much. As useful as that dodge is from the uh, Shield of Cthulhu, not good. Oh, God. Okay. So, get away from her head. I got to get away from her face. Get away from her face. Don't don't you give me no kisses, Plantera. I'm good. I don't need to make out with you. I'm not the Dryad. This is, like, very iffy for me right now. I don't know how I feel about this. Keep your plant versions of the Hungries to yourself. All right. Come on. Come on. We're good. We're good. No, 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 no. That's not good. Plantera, keep your face away from me. There we go. We got low health. I think we got her. I think she's going down. There she goes, ladies and gentlemen. And we got the pet. Plantera seedling. Oh, that's adorable. That is so very plants versus zombies right there. Brings me back. Hello. You're interrupting my cuteness moment right here. Do you mind? So screams echo from the dungeon. I guess we can pop over there and take a look. Let's put the Possessed Skull back on. We got Plantera's Trophy. I think I'll just plunk that down right here. That's good. I like that. Now, what is inside the treasure bag? So we got the Nettle Burst. It's annoying. It certainly is. And then we got the Temple Key. I don't remember exactly what melee weapons we get from Plantera, but obviously it seems as though the high defense was definitely the right way to go. I got 98 with all my potions and everything activated right now. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Well, all right, I guess the next order of business is gonna be taking care of the golem and maybe doing a little bit of exploration in the jungle. That is fantastic. I was really hoping that I would get a solar eclipse while that happened, but I guess it's just wistful thinking. Eventually, we'll take care of that. Let us drop down our Plantera Relic right here. There we go, added to the collection. That's pretty cool, I like that. I don't know. Maybe I ought to, like, make a little item... Item... What are they called? Item frames? Put all the pets around them, or maybe under them? I don't know. That's something that I think would be very cool to add to Terraria or Logic. Keep that in mind. Or maybe a mod out there could do it. Make it so that you can have the pets running around. Because the sprites are too cool to just keep to... You know... Keep to yourself like that. To just keep in a, in a chest somewhere. Oh, we got the cyborg! Where's the cyborg at? Where did he move into? I want to see where he lives. He's living with the pirate right now. But anyway, like I was saying, I think that'd be really cool to be able to put the uh, the pets in like a pet frame or something like that. A special item that allows them to wander around a select area. Little blocks left and right, like a pet. Make them like the bunnies or something like that so you can actually show them off in master mode. That'd be pretty cool to have them running around your houses that you build. But anyway... Hello, Lamb to the Cyborg. Precipitation detected. I'm glad you detected that. I, I detected that as well. What do you sell? You got your rocket launcher. Dry rockets. That's different. Absorbs liquid on impact. Huh. That's pretty cool. You're chilling with a turtle in there. Happiness. Zero close proximity life signs detected. This is fortunate. I feel ya. Where do you like to live? You like the snow biome. Excellent. So I know exactly where I'm putting you. You are going to love the guy that you're going to move in with, I promise. He's the best roommate ever. He is such a chill guy. Y you get it? Chill? 
because of the snow biome. Is that funny? Remember what I said forever ago. You don't have to be funny to anybody else. You just have to be funny to yourself. That's what matters. Life lessons with pixelated fireball. Okay, we're going to pop you in over here. Hopefully he moves in so I can get myself a pylon. There he goes. Right away. That's what I like to see. Hello, Ice Golem. I haven't killed one of you yet. Come here. I'm going to murder you. I gotta murder you for the name of science. The zoologist would approve, right? This is this is exactly what she meant by appreciating nature as I send penguins' heads flying. It's got a good bit of health. I haven't killed a desert elemental yet. Oh god. I I I might get murdered. Get me out of here. Okay, let's let's retreat to safety. Let's kill it the old fashioned way. It's the way you used to do it. Get him locked and then throw a yo yo at him. Excellent. Not that I need anything from them, but like I said, I can add his bestiary entry to the collection. Okay, Lambda, how do you feel? This is fortunate. My cybernetic functions perform optimally in the snow's temperature gradient. This is a plus. And you got the snow pile on. So we'll throw it down right here. Excellent! Finally got the last pylon, I believe. I think that's the last one that I can get. I did read something about a universal pylon, but I think this is the final piece to the puzzle. I am going to have to build something for him, though, eventually. I'm not sure if they made some kind of, like, nanite furniture set or something like that. Maybe if I did something with like steampunk stuff and like painted them maybe like blue. I don't know. Something to think about. All right. Well, with that, I think the video has been going on for long enough. We made a good bit of progress. We got another boss down, another relic to the collection, a new pet, and a new direction to go for the next episode. It's probably going to end up being the dungeon, exploring that, getting some of the new items in there, seeing what all I can make with those now, if anything at all, if there's anything new, finishing up the Terra Blade, maybe some events, Gollum. We're coming to a close here. We've only got a couple of bosses left, a couple more steps to this journey before it is really ended. And then probably going right back to Mata Terraria. I don't know, we'll see. Lots to do, lots to see. Anyway, like I said, I think this video's been going on for long enough, so. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye